Hey guys, what's up? Dave Winnell here in the beautiful Armada studio. Today I'm going to show you one of uh, my favorite tips that I discovered many years ago uh, when I first started producing and it was something that really uh, helped me create uh, good music without having much musical knowledge. Um, so I'm going to be using Ableton Live um, to do this. They have a really cool feature. I'm not sure if other doors have it, but Ableton does this really well but it might translate in other doors. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to make chords without knowing any musical knowledge. And basically uh, whatever you put in is going to sound uh, correct or right. So it mightn't sound amazing at first, but it's going to sound, uh, it's going to musically work. Okay, so to start off with, whenever I do chords, I always start off using the just a simple piano sound, so I don't dive in and use uh, a special sound, a set, special sound to start with. I always just start with the piano and then go from there. So a little bit of uh, musical knowledge here. Um, I'm going to start off in the uh, scale of A minor, and if you know anything to do with music, A minor use just the white notes. So starting from A, it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then back to A again. So in Ableton, what I'm going to do is, is create a new MIDI clip, which I've done here. And then I'm just going to draw a note on A1. You can hear A there. And then I'm going to copy that up to B, and then to C, D, E, F, G, and then back to A. So all these notes are the only notes that are used in the A minor scale. And then I'm going to copy those and drag them up over another octave. And I'm going to do that two times. So I have, I now have three octaves of every note that's in the scale. And then Ableton has this really cool feature, which is called fold, which is basically when you click that, it deletes every other note not in that scale. So if I press fold now, you'll see all the black notes will disappear. So now I'm left with just these notes. So if I play them, it's the A minor scale. And now, if I want to use that in any other scale, because you might be thinking, okay, what about F minor scale or, or G minor scale? So basically, because we started this on A, if I move this to another uh, root note, it'll be in that minor scale. So I like you, I like working in down in F or E for dance music. It has a good um, frequency for the bass notes. So I'm just going to drag all of these down to, let's say, F. And then when they're down there, I just press the fold button again, and then they'll delete every note that's not in that scale. So what I can do here now is drag all these clips out of the way and now I'm left with just a clean uh, starting point to start my chords. So I'm going to start with the root note of F and I'm just going to create a chord. So I'll go F and this will be an F minor chord. So it's F and then I'll come to G sharp and then I'll move this one, one, two, three, four, I'll move it up to here to C. So if I play that, that'll be my first chord. I'm feeling it's a bit low, so I'm just going to copy all those and move it up an octave. So there's the first chord, and I'm going to copy this out for four bars. I'm just going to copy these notes and then move that, and then from here we can just move it up or down, and no matter where it goes, because we've pressed the fold button, it's going to be musically sounding okay. So let's just see what we've got here. Maybe I'll go up another one. And then I can just copy that across for the next bar and move it to another place, see how it sounds. Okay, so that sounds good. Now what I'm going to do is copy these root notes 
and I'm just going to move those down an octave to make the chord thicker. Okay, so that sounds good. Now what I'm going to do is just move some of these notes around in the chord just to give it a bit more, because um, at the moment it sounds a bit boring. So if I can move these around a bit, it'll make it more interesting. So I'll choose this F here and I'm just going to move it up. Okay, it's sounding better. Now that I've done that, I can start adding in uh, little melodies. And then basically I can just do this uh, to any other, uh, any other scale I want. So if, at the moment we're in F, if I just move this up to say C, now we're in C minor and I press fold again. And basically any note that I draw in here will fit the scale so it'll sound kind of musical. So you can see I was just clicking randomly, but it kind of sounds all right. Delete those. So that's it guys, that's how you make chords without any musical knowledge in Ableton Live.